Since the first commercial computer, software has evolved more than the hardware of the computer. Understanding evolution of software is necessary to understand the working of modern software. First generation of software is considered to occur at the same time as the first generation of computer devices. Instructions were written in binary numbers, also known as machine language of the computer in this generation. These languages are built, in, built into hardware while hardware is manufactured in a factory. Since writing programs in machine language was harder, assembly languages were developed to make writing programs easier. These languages used mnemonics to write instructions. Instructions were translated into machine language by a program called Translator. Assembly, languages, assembly language acted as a buffer between the programmer and machine hardware. In this generation, a system programmer and an application programmer were the same jobs. Only the people who could program computers were the users of the, users of the computer. Second generation of software came with human-like computer languages known as high-level languages. Popular languages developed in this generation were Fortran, which stands for Formula Trans Translation. It was developed for mathematical purposes. COBOL, common business-oriented languages, which was developed for business purposes, and LISP, which stands for list processing, was created for artificial intelligence purposes. In this generation, system programmers and application programmers had different jobs. This picture represent, represents concept of abstraction in computer science. That is, programmers working with high-level languages don't have to care about how assembly language or machine language in a device works. In first and second generation, computer resources were of no concern to system programmers because instructions for each piece of hardware were written separately. In third generation, to make computers more efficient, computer resources were put under the control of computer. To do that, a software called operating system was developed to manage computer resources. Utility programs, linkers, loaders, translators, and operating system were combined and named as system software. Utility programs are programs designed for general support of the processes of a computer. A loader's job is to load programs into memory and linker links pieces of large programs together. An assembler translates assembly language program into machine language and a compiler translates high-level language code into the code that can machine understand. Idea of time sharing systems emerged in this generation because of operating system. Many users with terminals could use the same system. Often this system was large machine like workstations. General purpose application programs in this generation were writ written like a stat statistical package for the social sciences SPSS. In third generation, system programmer, application programmer, and user were three different entities in the world of computers. This picture represents how system software provided abstraction to the user and the application programmer. In fourth generation of computer software, a structured programming technique was introduced. Pascal, Modular 2, BASIC, and C were popular structured programming languages. C++ was also introduced in 1980s. It was a structured programming language with a bit of extra object-oriented functionalities. Popular operating system in this generation were Unix, PC-DOS for IBM computers, and MS-DOS for many general computers. In this generation, first time mouse, were, mouse was introduced. Apple introduced its point-and-click graphical user interface using a mouse that used a mouse. In this generation, popular regular user application softwares were spreadsheet programs like Lotus 1, 2, 3 and first word processing program like WordPerfect and a database, small database program like D DBase 4. Modern day, these softwares are bundled into suite called Office, MS Office, Libra Office and OpenOffice are some examples. In fifth generation, object-oriented programming, World Wide Web, and Microsoft software technologies emerged. Popular programming langu languages in this generation are Java and C++. Tim Berners-Lee created hypertext markup language in 1991, which became the foundation of 
modern World Wide Web. Mosaic, later known as Netscape, was first browser in this era. Modern day Firefox browser is based on the first Netscape or Mosaic browser. In fifth generation, self-published writers emerged because of blog-enabled websites like Blogger and WordPress. And dynamic content creation websites like Wikipedia, YouTube, and many others allow users to create and share content related to education, entertainment, and hobbies. Social networking sites like Facebook, Twitter have been used by billions of people to share text and graphics information using computers. From first generation, role of user and computers have always been have always been changing. First generation user was a programmer. In second generation, system programmer wrote tools for application programmers. In third generation, application programmers used tools written by system programmers to write programs for non-programmers or users. And in fourth generation, computer became popular among all types of users. And in fifth generation, besides using computer for different purposes, computer users started to create content for other users. 